Hey, what's up guys? Even though there are some deals that can be had for new bikes, they can still cost more than you're willing to spend. What if you can make your current bike better for a fraction of that price? Yeah, you can do that. I've been switching between the Chinese Carbon and the Enduro bike and finding out that I like both. But enjoy the Enduro for Rudy type trails because it's a 27 and a half versus a 26 for the Carbon bike. This got me thinking, what if I made the Carbon bike into a mullet? Run a new fork with a 27 and a half inch up front. I mean, what can go wrong, right? I thought about it and read about it quite a bit and it's a mixed bag. Some say it worked, others say it didn't work out so well for them. Some say it messed up the geo or their bike and it wasn't worth the trouble. There are a lot of new bikes that come mullet from the factory so this is a common thing nowadays. Yes they are 29 up front and 27 in the rear but so what? Work with what you got. I'm gonna try anyway. My options for a new fork were a bit limited because the carbon frame needs a straight steering tube. With that in mind, I had to find a 27 and a half with a straight tube that was also on the cheaper side. Because, you know, cheap. So what do you do? How about hitting up eBay and seeing what's available, right? Well, I found a Rock Shox Recon Silver SL 27 and a half, 100 millimeters travel for around 200 bucks. Really, that's not a bad price. Looks pretty good. Straight tube. It'll work for what I need. I think it was 100 millimeters is a good size because the current fork is 110 and the subtraction of 10 millimeters will hopefully maintain the current geometry when adding the larger wheel up front. I don't know if that's going to work out, but we're going to find out. I was also able to get a cheap Bucklose 27 and a half inch wheel for cheap. So that's one part of the puzzle solved. I already have a new 27 and a half inch tire, so all good there. One thing I'm not doing, but you could, is change the head tube angle. There are a lot of products like the Wolf Tooth GeoShift that let you add or remove slack from your head tube angle with just a headset. I've used it on the Enduro to increase the angle and it worked great. I'm happy with the angle of this bike, so there's really no need for that. All right, let's take a closer look at the Bucklow's front wheel. So it's 27 and a half inch and it has a carbon fiber hub. Yeah, that's what it said. It's not really that bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's sturdy. Is it over-engineered? I don't know, but it should work out just fine. Let me get this done plastic off. Here we go. Boom, that's gone. There's your hub there. Is it carbon fiber? I don't know. Now, technically, they say this is not tubeless. So, uh, I think I'm going to make it tubeless anyway. You see, it comes built in with a strip in there. It looks pretty good. So, I'm not going to tape it. I'm just going to throw a tire on it, toss some sealant in, fill it up, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we got everything we need. We got our rim, we got our tire, we got our fork, we got a bike. Let's put it together. All right, now before we get too far, why don't we weigh this thing and see what we have before we make any changes to it. I'm certain. Not bad. 26 pounds, two ounces. Oh, Fun. All right, we got it on there. Went about as smooth as could be expected, which usually means it was more of a pain in the ass than you thought it would be. But hey, it's on. Looks pretty sweet. Black on black, I like it. We started off 103, and now we are at the top 104. Okay, so we went up a little bit. Nothing drastic. 
I don't think that's going to change the ride quality at all. Now it's time to stop and stare. So you see it's been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love Alright, first ride with the mullet machine, the Franken mullet, the, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, we got a 26 inch frame, 26 inch wheel on the back, 27 and a half up front with a 27 and a half inch fork. How does it ride? It rides pretty well. I don't know if it's that much better, but I think that I can feel the difference when you're going over some stutter bumps. You're definitely, you're tracking a little bit better. I think the steering is a little more precise, a little less twitchy. Uh, rolling seems the same. I mean, it's a little bit heavier now. Started off at 26 pounds pre-mullet. After mullet, 30 pounds. A lot of that is probably the rim, the wheel. It's a cheap wheel, it's buckloss, super cheap. So it's gonna be heavier than the stands that I replaced it with. And also I replaced a SID 26 inch with a Recon 27 and a half. So I mean, all the weight is literally up front. So we got at least four more pounds up there. So. You could feel the difference a little bit when you're heading uphill as far as the weight. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly large amount considering it's, it's all carbon. So, you know, it is what it is. It was definitely worth a try because new bikes are expensive as hell. So why not make do with what you already have? A little tweak here, a little tweak there, maybe something as drastic as going mullet is the right thing for you. I don't know. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna go finish up the ride before it rains. Alright, if you found the video helpful, hit that like button and maybe subscribe. See you out on the trail.